Sterilization can be sometimes tricky and unpredictable. While some choose to boil their equipment, most professionals would rather use steam sterilization by either a pressure cooker or a steam sterilizer or autoclave. Sterilization is a procedure used to kill or physically remove microorganisms and their various resistant reproductive spores. All operations are carried out in laminar airflow sterile cabinets with utmost care. The most popular method to destroy all forms of microbial life is steam sterilization by autoclaving. The autoclave is nothing but a large pressure cooker that increases the temperature of the steam in the chamber above the normal boiling point of water. What is a pressure cooker? Moist heat produced in a pressure cooker can be used to sterilize the culture medium before use and when disposing of it after use. For sterilization of liquid materials wet or steam sterilization employing domestic pressure cookers can be used with the precaution of the slow exhaust. What is autoclave? Autoclave or steam sterilizer is the most popular and widely used method of steam sterilization. The most dependable procedure to destroy all forms of microbial life with moist heat is steam sterilization under pressure. Difference between autoclave and pressure cooker. Basics. For sterilization of liquid substances wet or steam sterilization employing either autoclave or domestic pressure cooker can be used with the precaution of the slow exhaust. Pressure cookers are basically large saucepans designed to cook food very quickly, using steam under pressure. Autoclave, on the other hand, is nothing but a large pressure cooker that increases the temperature of the steam in the chamber above the normal boiling point of water. Autoclave comes in many different sizes and flavors, from a simple pressure cooker to a more sophisticated, solid state controlled in the wall unit. Method A domestic pressure cooker is essentially a small, single wall steam sterilizer in which the steam is generated from water placed in the bottom of the chamber. It works just as well as autoclaving and can be carried out at rural healthcare facilities or even at homes. It works just like an autoclave. The pressure is applied to boiling water to increase the boiling point, and the temperature will increase with increasing pressure. Autoclaves generally use steam heated to 121 deg C, 250 deg F, which can be achieved under a pressure of 15 psi, 100 K pa above atmospheric pressure. The average time for autoclaving is about 20 minutes, but the duration may vary according to the substances to be sterilized. Affordability. Pressure cookers generally use a lot of pressure to sterilize the items and they are cost-effective and easy to use alternative to autoclaving. Domestic pressure cookers come in handy when some amount of media is to be sterilized. They are a whole lot cost-effective when compared to autoclaves and you can actually notice that there's a pretty large price difference between the two. However, they're portable. Less expensive autoclaves on the market that are specifically designed for general purpose sterilization in nursing homes and hospitals, dental clinics, etc. Overview In a nutshell, steam sterilization by autoclaving is the most popular method to destroy all forms of microbial life, including spores. Moist heat sterilization requires temperatures higher than can be reached by boiling water. To achieve these higher temperatures, pressure is applied to boiling water to increase the boiling point thereby increasing the temperature. Autoclaves generally use steam heated to 121 deg C, which can be achieved under a pressure of approximately 15 psi above the normal air pressure for the duration of about 20 minutes. A domestic pressure cooker is essentially a small, single wall steam sterilizer in which the steam is generated from water placed in the bottom of the chamber, and it works just as well as autoclaving. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.